G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. Today we're moving on to the male reproductive system and we're going to start with the male gonad, which of course is the testis. So we're just going to do an overview of the testis structure and um, the major features present within the testis, which you can see at relatively low magnifications, um, the major overview features, and then other videos will have a look a little bit more at the, the structure of the seminiferous tubules and things like that. Um, so let's start off three minutes. So each testis you can see here is quite an oval shaped structure uh, on its posterior surface. So this is anterior. On its posterior surface we have the uh, spermatic cord here uh, which attaches to the testis. It carries the, the ductus deferens which we'll talk about in another video. On its posterior surface we also have the epididymis. This is the epididymis here. And you can see this is a trichrome stain section. So blue is collagen and you can see this very thick dense blue layer around the outside of the testis. This is known as the tunica albiginia, uh, or the white layer. If we have a look at a little bit higher magnification here, you can see it's a very thick, uh, dense connective tissue layer. Now, immediately beneath this layer, this tunica albiginia, is a layer known as the tunica vasculosa. Now, vasculosa means blood vessels. So here you can see a blood vessel in another section over here. And if we sort of zoom around, we can actually see a number of these smaller blood vessels and larger blood vessels. Now, the tunica albiginia plays an important role in the sort of the structure of the testis, but it also uh, throws in these connective tissue septa. You can see one of these septa here. And what the septa do is it divides the testis into lobules. And within each lobule, you have two to three seminiferous tubules. So these lumen here, these are actually seminiferous tubules. These are blind ending tubules within which spermatogenesis takes place. So that's where the sperm are actually made. So if we zoom out a little bit, you can see these connective tissue septa. And you can see, so here's one lobule, here's another lobule, here's another lobule, and so on. So those um, are the major features of um, the connective tissue there. If we sort of zoom out a little bit, we'll go over here. You can see this sort of thickening of this um, dense connective tissue over here and what looks like little tears. Um, this is actually a region of the testis known as the mediastinum of the testis. And within here we actually find one of the duct structures of the testis. These are known as the reti testis. Um, and you can see the, the lumens here. So these are actually lined by an epithelium. They carry the part, of the, I suppose, the la uh, second to last part of the uh, intratesticular duct. So from the seminiferous tubules, the sperm are made, they leave via the straight tubules, these structures here, and then they enter into the reedy testis before moving on to the afferent ductules. Um, so we'll talk more about the pathway of sperm uh, in another video. So hopefully um, you can see those major features um, of the testis there. Um, again, the major features are, of course, the tunica albiginia, its underlying tunica vasculosa. We've got the mediastinum of the testis here, the tunica albiginia forming the septa, which divides the testis into lobules, and within each of the lobules we find the seminiferous tubules. So we'll talk more about the uh, rest of the structure in a different video. Uh, thanks very much for listening. I hope you found that useful, and we'll see you in the next video. Hooroo!